Just because you've had your baby does not mean you can start binging on junk food. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchWalter.com. Our host Veronica spoke with the Nick Robinson about a nutrition plan for new moms to keep moms and babies happy and healthy. How will your life change now that you have a newborn baby at home? After just two days, usually they send you home with a brand new baby and your baby usually will lose a pound or two from the time of the delivery in the first week and they need to gain that weight back. So if you're nursing your baby, you could actually be nursing your baby every hour or two, 24 seven in the first week. And then after that, it might go down to two hours, three hours. Hopefully you get to four hours pretty quickly and eventually, hopefully your baby sleeps through the night. But in the beginning, you have to throw your previous lifestyle and schedule completely out the window. You are at the beck and call of your nursing hungry baby for the first six weeks at least and beyond. So your regular waking and sleeping schedules are completely out the window. Your eating schedules are completely out the window. And so you have to really prepare ahead of time to make sure that you can weather that difficult sleepless time with really good nutrition, a good support system, and make sure that you're getting what you and your baby needs whenever you can. Now that your baby's born, do you still have to follow a healthy diet? It's super important, especially if you're nursing. So if you're nursing, whatever you eat is being transferred into your breast milk, and that is the most important nutrition you can give your baby is in the first three months when your baby is really developing and developing its own immune system. So you want to make sure that you're eating as healthily as possible so that your breast milk is as rich and as nutritious as possible for your baby. You're going to need about 500 calories more per day. So I know new moms are really worried about their figures and gaining their figure back, but it's not the time to be dieting. If you're nursing, your baby needs those calories. It needs the calories you accumulated in fat stores while you were pregnant. And trust me, if you're eating well, those fat stores will melt away as you nurse your baby. What about for the women who aren't breastfeeding? Do they need to add calories? You don't. So if you have decided not to nurse, your body should go back to normal within about six weeks. So within six weeks, your body is healed enough, whether you've had a C-section or if you've had a natural delivery, and you can actually start exercising again. I read that breastfeeding women are very thirsty. Should you just drink when thirsty? It's absolutely true. The more you nurse, the thirstier you are. Women who are nursing are ravenously hungry, and they're extremely thirsty. Follow your thirst. Go wherever your thirst leads you. Drink water though. Avoid anything else. Drink lots of water, but don't overhydrate. Don't drink beyond your thirst because you also don't want to dilute your breast milk. You want your breast milk to have nice fat in it for your baby. Do you need to continue your prenatal vitamins? Absolutely. You should continue anything that you were doing while you were pregnant. You have to act as if you are still pregnant for at least the first three months following your pregnancy. Your baby is still attached to you, only this time it's at the breast instead of in the womb. Is there any advice you want to leave new mothers with? I think it's really important for new moms to be patient. You know, it's an overwhelming time. You bring a new baby home, you're not sleeping, your body doesn't feel like it used to, you've put on weight, your body is not as fit and toned as it was. It can be a very difficult time. You don't feel your best when you've just had a baby. But it took you nine months to put the weight on. Give yourself nine months to find your body again. It will come back if you're patient and you treat yourself with a lot of loving kindness. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Veronica.